here is the best and the easy way to install Python environment for raster data analysis and processing. The first step is go to this website. Actually, it's a Facebook group which is called CodeGIS and uh, search for Conda Chisit and we're going to have a Chisit like this. This is useful for us to create a new Anaconda environment. The next step is go to this website. Go to this website, website called Unofficial Windows Binaries for Python Extension Packages. So the way you just type in this in Google, the first result will be this website. Okay. So here I got a list of all the dependencies that we need to install for raster analysis using Python. We decided to use Python 3.8 because it's new, it's relatively new, and uh, it's already supported by a lot of modules and uh, libraries. So in order to do that, the first step is you need to install Anaconda. So in order to install Anaconda, actually I already installed Anaconda, and it's very easy. You just go to Google and search for Anaconda Python 3 install. So you will go to this one, install link on window here. So download the Anaconda installer here, download here. Okay, so if you want to use Python 3.8, just click on 64 bits or 32 bit graphic installer. If you are using Windows, I'm using Windows, I use this and download this. For example, I put in the data code here and uh, that one and install it. So I'm not gonna download it anymore because I already installed it. But when you install Anaconda, you just choose the default setting and click next, next, next and finish this. After you install Anaconda, we're gonna go to start menu, go to Anaconda 3, 64 bits for example, and go to Anaconda from Anaconda 3 here. So firstly, I need to check what are all the Conda environment that's available in this computer. So I'm gonna type in Conda env list. It's gonna list all the environment currently already installed in this computer. Here we gonna create a new Conda environment. So to create a new Conda environment, you're gonna choose Conda create, put in name, we will call it raster 38 that's mean Python 3.8 for raster processing. Then we put in Python is equal to 3.8 there and enter. So it said that a directory already exists at the target location, raster 3.8. So because I installed it before and I removed it for this the purpose of this tutorial, so I'm gonna just yes. But if you install, you create this environment for the first time with this name, you will not receive this warning. So just yes and continue and click yes. But before click it, you can see here, we have a couple of things to install. It's pip python, uh, sqlite, as SQLite, a lot of other. So we just yes and continue. Already done that. And there is a, an instruction here tell us how to activate the new environment we just installed. So we can do conda activate raster 3.8 and we have the raster 3.8 is now activated. Now we already have a conda environment. This is the first step. The next step is we need to install other Python packages and models inside this Conda environment. So this Conda environment is separately and independently independently working uh, from other environment. And it's recommended that for each project, you should create one Conda environment for that project. So to install Gido, one of the very easy and quick way is to just uh, Conda install Gido. But I don't like this way. I like the other way that I have more control on it, which is using this website. So as we mentioned, this is the unofficial Windows binaries for Python extension packages you can easily find on Google. And on this website, I'm gonna look for I'm gonna look for Gido. And you see here Gido, click on Gido. And because you are using 64 bits and Python 3.8, so you need to download this .wahl file. This is a wheel file and you click on that and download to a location. So I already download it in here, which is this location, data and code. Okay, I don't need to download this again. So that is Gido. Next is I need to look for raster, raster EO or raster IO. And this is 64 bit Python 3.8 here. Click on here and download this one. But I already have it, so I don't need to download again. Next is Cyton. I also need to download Cyton. 
yet uh, sorry need to find Cyton okay here Cyton so Cyton is a language for writing Python C extension and it requires for a lot of Python packages and models because the core code of a lot of packages and models uh, are written in C language so we can use this one 3.8 64 bit download it and put it in here we can make cancel it because I already downloaded it and next is matplotlib similar I got that matplotlib here and I download this one 64 bit 3.8 334 download it because it's already downloaded so I cancel it next one is numpy put in here search for numpy of course numpy should be somewhere here should be in the numpy I'm gonna look for numpy from the beginning because a lot up here numpy so also the same python 3.8 64 bits here to tell me that one version of this already exists done for that next is pi project so pi project is an uh, interface to the project library for cartographic transformations so same we use 3.8 and 64 bits here click on that and download it it's already downloaded next is shapely i'm gonna search for shapely and also the same 3.8 and 64 bits done for that and many other so for this one two three four five six packages i can download from this website for the other one i can use so for this i can use pip install and for this i can use conda install okay so now i go to the folder that i download this so the folder that i download is which is in here okay so the next step is i need to open anaconda from i already open it here so the next thing i need to change the current working directory in anaconda from to this folder to do that is very easy just type in cd and i put in open uh, double quote copy this and close double quote and enter and then i type in d colon so it already changed to this folder if i type in the you can see that we have uh, anaconda etc i think i didn't finish this anaconda i don't need this actually yeah so i can do this again so i have all the will files in here i can start install you uh, the packages and libraries using will file so the first thing i need to install is gdo i'm going to use pip install to install it instead of conda pip install Okay, pips install and then gdo again pip install gdo very quick next is uh, pips install raster io very quick and next is pip install cython and then next is pip install matplotlib and numpy numpy and then pi project pi project and shapely so you see that it's very quick to install all the packages together so now we have uh, gdo raster io cython pi matplotlib numpy pi project and shapely and we need to install some more which is uh, pip pi gl2 i think i need to check this it's not working for me Okay, here's this PyGL tool. So it just pip install PyGL tool. I don't know why it doesn't install. Funny. So do it again. Pip install PyGL tool. Yeah, it's working. It will collect the sidebar packages and install it. Next is pip install PyGL processing. Also done. And I need to install Spider as well. Conda install Spider. If I want to use Spider as a uh, Python editor. Okay, a lot of things need to be done for Spider. Some of them is already installed. So we install. Um, we done for Spider. Now we install uh, Jupyter. Yes, we need that for Jupyter Notebook, and we can install Jupyter Lab as well. No, nothing called that Lab. Yes, and next is we need to create an environment for Jupyter Notebook. So here, based on this. Chisip, I can put in Python, m, i Python kernel install, user name, and this is raster 38. That's it. So now we are, I think now we have everything. We can uh, test this now. We can test Python. And then we have Python 3.8 here, which is a latest Python support by Anaconda. I think so. And we can import um, whatever the package as we want. Import um, everything here. We can import. Uh, so from 
OSGL import Gdo, so we can call Gdo here. Okay, so import the uh, raster IO working, import the uh, Cython working, import matplotlib, import numpy, import the uh, pi project, import Shapely, import pi gl2, import pi gl processing. All good. Now we can start spider to see if the spider is working for us as well. For some reason, spider is not working. Did we install spider? Conda install spider. So conda install anaconda. Oh, sorry. We need to exist this. Sorry, I'm sorry. So I need to exist outside of Python to start spider. So I can start spider now. I think so. Okay, spider 4 is starting. Okay. I don't need to do that. I don't need to save anything. It misses. It's a ten one. I don't need to save it. And here you go. We have spider. And inside spider here, if you want to import the uh, so from OSGL import Gdo, all good. Import raster IO, all good. Yes. If you quit spider, you get back to Anaconda Prom. You can start Jupyter Lab. Jupyter Lab doesn't work again. So Jupyter Notebook. Jupyter Notebook Okay, Jupyter Notebook is working And now you can create a new Python Notebook based on the environment that you just created which is this one, Raster 3.8 And inside here, you can uh, form OS Yale Import Gdo It's working Import Raster IO It's working perfectly So I can quit Jupyter Notebook here Quit that and uh, you can quit this So that's this it's a very easy and quick way to install all the libraries and packages necessary for raster data processing using Python.